Hello everyone, I'm your teacher Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. In this video, I will be discussing circle with center at HK. When circle has a center at HK, it means that the center is anywhere along the Cartesian plane except at the point of origin or 0, 0. The standard equation of our circle will be quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. In our circle, this is our center, hk, that is along or along anywhere at the Cartesian plane except at the point of origin. And this distance from the center up to one point of our circle is what we call our radius. Given our circle with center at 3, 4 and the radius is 5, let us now get the standard equation of our circle. Since the format of our equation is quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared, we simply plug in the values of h, k, and r to our equation. Since our center is at 3, 4 and the radius is equal to 5, therefore, our h will be 3 and our k will be 4. So all of this value, the h, k, and 5 as our radius, will be plugged in into our standard equation. By substitution, we will be having quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y minus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Simplifying this standard equation, we will have quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y minus 4 squared equals 25. Let's try to solve some sample problems regarding circle with center at hk. Determine the center and the radius of the circle with an equation quantity x minus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 5 squared equals 9, and draw the circle. So based on our given standard equation, quantity x minus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 5 squared equals 9, our h then will be equal to 2 and our k is 5. Our r squared is equal to 9, so that means our r will be equal to 3. Given the h and the k, we can say that our circ at the center of our circle will be at 2, 5. So this is our circle with center at 2, 5 with a radius of 3. Another problem, determine the standard and general equations of the circle with center at negative 4, 2 and radius of 4. Given our circle, we can already identify the value of our h, k, and the given radius. So our h will be negative 4, our k will be the 2, and our radius is 4. Using these values, we can simply plug in these values with the format with our standard equation format. That will be quantity x minus negative 4 squared plus quantity y minus 2 squared equals 4 squared. So our standard equation for this circle with center at negative 4, 2 and radius of 4 will be quantity x plus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 2 squared equals 16. Given the standard equation, we must convert this into, our, into general equation with the format ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0. Since this is a circle, we can expect that the values of a and b is sim are simply equal to 1. So, all we have to do is to simply expand the squares of binomials. 
x plus 4 squared will be equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16, while the quantity y minus 2 squared will be equal to y squared minus 4y plus 4, and our r squared will remain 16. Rearranging the terms in our uh, expanded binomials into trinomials, we will be having x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 4y plus 4 plus 16 minus 16 equals 0. The negative 16 came from the right side of our equation. We just simply transpose it from right side to the left side. And simplifying our equation, we will arrive at our desired general equation that will be x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 4y plus 4 equals 0. This is our general equation. Take note that in our general equation, the constant at the right side of the equation will be equal to 0. And for our, our last problem, we have determine the center and the radius of the circle with an equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y plus 9 equals 0. The given is a general equation. Therefore, in getting the standard equation, we must first do the completing of squares. We must combine the terms or group the terms with the same variables and put the constant at the right side of the equation. So we will have now x squared plus 4x y squared minus 6y equals negative 9. So we put the terms with the same variable next to each other. So therefore, we can regroup this by putting parentheses we have quantity x squared plus 4x plus quantity y squared minus 6y equals negative 9. Using the regroup or rearrange binomials, we can now complete the square. In the, in the binomial x squared plus 4x, 4x will be our second term in our uh, trinomial wherein it will be divided into 2. The value 4 divided by 2 will be squared to get the value of our third term. As well as in y squared minus 6y, negative 6 will be divided into 2 and then squared to get the third term of the trinomial. And then we will have now x squared plus 4x plus quantity 4 minus 2 squared plus the quantity y squared minus 6y plus 6 over 2 squared equals negative 9 plus 4 over 2 squared plus 6 over 2 squared. So what we did on the left side should also be done at the right side. Since we add 4 divided by 2 squared, and 6 divided by 2 squared at the left side, we also, we also have to do the same at the right side. And simplifying, we will be having x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus the quantity y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals negative 9 plus 4 plus 9. Simplifying the trinomial by factoring, we get the square the squared of the trinomial we have now, the, rather the square root of the trinomial, we will have now quantity x plus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 3 squared equals 4. This will be our standard equation. And therefore, we can say that our h now is negative 2 and our k is 3 and therefore, our r squared is 4. So, the center of our circle will be negative 2, 3, and the radius is 2. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something new about circle. See you next time.